Hi, I'm Max and this is how to make future base wobble cords with armor. Let's go straight ahead and make some cords. Add Harmer and link it to your mixer. How to sidechain is in another tutorial. Uh, so let's go straight ahead and some people prefer to do it in the piano roll, but others prefer to do it in the MIDI controller, which is kind of better because you have different velocities and it sounds more natural and human. So let's go. It's really important that the chords start at the same time because else the wobble will kind of sound strange that we're going to make. So uh, we have a function for that, uh, a helper. It's called quantizer. I will show you in just a second. To mark more than one note. Hold control and drag your left mouse. Okay, go to this little arrow, tools, and quantize. So what happened is that every note is starting at the same time. Pretty helpful, especially for the wobble we're going to make. So let's go. Um, activate the volume envelope. Get a little bit of tail and put up the unison. Unison is kind of creating more than one voice for the tone, but with a different pitch. And this will um, kind of create more richness to the sound, which is pretty neat. Um, for the lower notes, this is this area. The unison will sound of kind of muddy and the harmonic unison pitch is going to get rid of that if we put this little point down here and this one up here, but you can make it uh, as random as you prefer, which sounds nice actually. And um, for the panning and face, you have to get the right configuration which you prefer. So let's make the wobble. Go to filter one frequency, LFO, hit this little box, and right click speed and go to set. Make it about 90 and copy the value. Go to volume, LFO, and paste the value. Activate that. Now to get a layering effect, activate B. Make also seven unison voices, maybe a little bit of square. And make the same thing for the frequency and the volume. Now next is the global LFO, which I found out a few days ago, which is pretty nice because we can control every LFO, but we have to uh, do it for part A and part B both. So go to global LFO speed and take this point. No, wait, go to modulation Y. So we're applying this to this modulation Y. So if this point is here, 
zero LFO is applied. If this thing is down here, zero LFO is applied. If it's up here, 100% speaking the value of 90, which we just uh, typed in, is applied to our chords. So we are doing the same thing for part B. And which we get is this. Let's make some effects, some warm reverb, slow decay, some damping, a bit of size, but you have to try it for yourself. Which I, what I like is uh, adding a little bit of compression and putting up the lows because we have the bass later on and stuff, but yeah, just check out and see what sounds nice for yourself. Automate the Y and automate both filters A and B. Make it like this or both. And now make kind of a filter opening uh, with a little bit with it going down behind of it. So that kind of opens up the filter of the chords and yeah you will you will hear the result we can add a little bit of resonance but not too much you can <laughs> what about yeah, add a little bit of portamento, that's pretty nice. I don't know, I, I took something about 460. Uh, by the way, if you want to know something where your mouse is at the moment, there's the left window up here in the left corner. Nice. And if you're new to Harmer, uh, add this window, open up this window. It will show you the fundamental plus every other harmonic playing. So we did that. Now put it to the end here. Mark all of that and hit Control B. This will copy this thing right here. Now try around with, with the okay. Try around with the modulation Y, which is controlling the global LFO, and boom, there you have your wobbles. Make something like that. and you learned something. Uh, next up, bass and lead.